What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my tiny garage. On my bench here tonight, we have a Honda GX240 with a leaking fuel shutoff and fuel bowl. Uh, we're going to be installing a new seal kit for that and uh, see if we can't get that leak stopped. Let's hop on in. Unique thing about these units is that they have the uh, fuel shutoff sediment bowl and the carburetor all as one unit, which is fairly unique to Honda. To make this easier, I'm just gonna flip it around and use the nut <clears throat> keep a little bit of tension on our carburetor while we work all right let's hop into this fuel bowl here so these use like a little rubber washer disc very similar to how uh, like lawn boy fuel shutoffs work just like a little rubber biscuit down in here with a spring Pretty simple thing to do, really. There's our plate. There's our spring. And our fuel shutoff lever. There we go. Just a little rubber disc in there that shuts the fuel off. Here you can kind of see the difference between the the old one and the new one. Things are definitely worn out and smooshed a little bit. Simply just drop this down in there. Reassemble our lever. Our spring washer. And then our top plate. Get that snug down without stripping the screws out because it don't take much. There we go. And our shutoff is back up, uh, functional again. All right, let's hop down here and do the bowl next. Down up under here with our sediment bowl is a 10 millimeter. Just pop that open. Actually looks really clean. Up in here, there will be a O-ring. Which is pretty smushed. Let me see if I can get a pickup in there. Definitely stuck in there pretty good. There we go. Ooh. Man, that thing seems some better days. Let me get the new one for comparison. There you go. 
there's new and for comparison I'd say things are just a little worn out get this squeezed up in there there we go making sure it's seated in there with my finger perfect take our bowl Just nice and snug. Very good. With our rubber shutoff disc changed out and our fuel bowl gasket replaced, we can go ahead and start reassembly here. Get this turned back around. Get our studs lined up and make sure our breather tube is back into the valve cover head again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess before we do that, we better make sure our choke lever's on. Get our choke lever stuck back on. There we go. All right. That might be important. We might end up needing that. All right. There we go. Slide everything back down into place. Make sure everything is seated. Then R1 back up top here as well. Nothing too crazy. Filter back on. Make sure that is snug. Our cover. There we go. Everything back is back in working order. Put some gas in it, see how good of a job we did. Don't need a whole lot to test this out. After all, we don't want too much in there in case it does leak for some reason. There's no way to shut it off otherwise. This is actually a hard line it comes out of there with Honda, it's not a soft line, surprisingly enough. Okay, so currently our shutoff is in the off position on choose the arrow that direction. So let's take the bolt out of our carburetor and make sure that it is, it is dry. Yep, it is dry. Okay, let's turn it on. There we go. And we have fuel coming out. If I shut it off, it should stop. Yeah, it does indeed. Turn it back on. Perfect. I call that fixed. We will put our screw back in. And we be, should be all good to go. As 
So since this is the shop air compressor that mostly sits uh, most of the time, um, unless it's for service calls, which service calls are pretty slow right now for the winter time, uh, this is sitting in storage pretty much most of its life here as of lately. So what I like to do is just spray a little bit of WD-40 in there on the inside of that tank. Um, since the tank is metal on this, they tend to like to attract moisture. So on anything that's sitting for a while empty, I just like to put some WD-40 in it, which has worked pretty well for me uh, to keep um, tanks from rusting out nearly as quickly, uh, if at all, on short-term storage. Um, yeah, that seems to work pretty good for me. There it is, all fixed, ready to return back to service. Pretty simple to do, pretty straightforward, just a little daunting when you first look at it and you're not sure what's going on exactly, but uh, it is pretty easy to do, easy easy enough. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description below for a seal kit uh, that I use in this machine. Uh, it is an affiliated link if you want to support the channel in that way. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra, but uh, we will receive a commission off of it. Uh, the kit should fix the uh, GX240, 270, 340, and the 390. I haven't had any issues with the kit up to this point. It's always worked pretty well for me. Uh, drop a comment down below. Love to talk with you guys. Any questions, comments you might have, uh, hit that like button. really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. We have plenty more coming for you. As always, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one.